shop today and I'm going to be making a run of parts and I'm having to update my G-code uh, to take advantage of constant surface speed and in doing so I'm going to go ahead and set up fixtures on the G0602 because I'm going to be running several parts out of the stock. The stock is four and a half inches long and I'll be trying to get seven parts out of it. So normally when I'm running parts on the lathe uh, the way I like to set up my stock is to have my tool park at the zero spot and then I just simply slide the, t the material up to the tool and then tighten it down. Uh, however with this I can't do that so what I want to do is I want to move my zero back uh, the amount I need to to reset my zero. Uh, in this case it's about a half inch. So in order to do so I want to set up fixtures in Mach 3. Now Mach 3 fixtures for the mill and the lathe are a little bit different. Normally with the Mach 3 turn, G54 is for a front sided tool post and G55 would be for a rear mounted tool post and those are really the two that you would use the most however however in this situation I'm going to simply just use my fixtures to move the material zero back uh, in half inch increments so in Mach 3 so in order to set up the fixtures, you simply go up to Config, Fixtures, and then you can see that I have all of my fixtures set up from G54 through G59 and G59P7. Now, these go up, as you can see there's quite a bit of fixtures that you can work with, um, but in this case I'm only working with five. So. This number right here, this minus 12.7188, is the distance Z is away from my home switches. So if you don't have home switches, then your Z0 you can set closer to your stock, and or at your stock end, I should say, and then move back. Uh, but each one of these represents about a half an inch. It's not exactly a half inch close to it. So what we're going to do is in the G code, we're going to start out with G54. Now, my screen set didn't originally have this fixture here. I've added this to the screen set. Uh, for those of you who are running uh, Mach 3 turn and you don't have this and you would like to have it, let me know. I'll send you a copy of the screen set. Um, so let's take a look quickly at the G-code here. Alright, so here we have our G-code. Let me zoom in here. Alright, and you can see the first operation is in G54. And then we do the outside profiling, the internal profiling. We're going to part the piece off. And then we're going to go to G, switch over to G55 here change the tool, switch over to G55 and continue on, we're going to do the outside profiling the internal profiling uh, part the tool off switch over to G56 and we're just going to continue that on until we get down to G59 P7 and then once we get to the end we'll switch back to G54 and move back to our original Z0 and we can insert another piece of stock and continue on. All right, so let's take a look at this G code running.
can see we're on G54 and then as soon as we hit this line right here whoa, whoa, where are we? as soon as we hit this line right here we'll switch to G55 so we'll hit cycle start sorry I'm zoomed in here hit G55 can see we're down to our last piece here we are in G59 currently and we will go to G59 P7 which will be our last uh, fixture we have ran all of our pieces and we've got this, just got this one left so you know it always the pucker factor always gets real high when you get down to the uh, end here and you're getting close to your chuck if you look here on Mach 3 you have your X and Z limits and we can see that what this is is in our G code the maximum we're going back is 0 0.5018 and the most positive direction in our Z is 1.589 now the 1.589 is when we're going to clear uh, for our internal boring and then of course here is our 0 .5018 now of course this is the same for every fixture because if you remember we change our zero point with each fixture so the maximum we're only going to go back is a little over a half inch so you can just jog and make sure you're clear your tool is going to clear and then you can see that our Z is uh, well we're st still in G59 here but if we go to G59 P7 alright now we're in G59 P7 we can see that we are 0.6238 so we're definitely going to clear our chuck here and I normally like to check this at the beginning but I forgot to show you guys this so I wanted to include that in the video so that's what that that's what these X and Z limits are these are helpful if you're having trouble with your soft limits or something so now all we need to do is just run this last 
apart. Well, you can see we're clear here. Uh, plenty of room to spare. I like to try to give myself a, you know, at least a eighth of an inch or so just for clearance. Well, guys, that wraps up this video on Mach 3 turn fixtures. You can see how effective it is when you're making a run of parts and you need to change your Z zero uh, after each piece. Thanks for watching guys. Please stay tuned for more videos. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly, be safe.